Number 13. Find the following for path C in figure 3.56. Letter A, the total distance traveled. All right, so let's start there first. So take a look at the picture on the right-hand side. We got to outline path C. So here it is in purple. All right. So um, in order to find the distance, remember the basic definition of distance. That distance, right, is equal to the actual ground, ground covered. All right, it would be like if you were in your car, what your odometer would read. So if we start here, here's our starting point. Okay, I'll label it S. And right here is the end point. Okay, I'll label that E. Now remember that um, all blocks are 120 meters on the side. Okay, so let's see. So we travel north one block. That's 120 meters, right? Okay, so that means let me write down 120. Then next, I travel east, right? One, two, three, four, five blocks. So that would be five times 120. Okay, great. Plus then I travel south two blocks. Okay, wonderful. So that would be uh, two times now 120. So then back to the picture. Then I travel west, right? One block, so that's 120. Then plus I travel north one block, right? So that's 120. And then I travel, it looks like I west for three more blocks there. Okay, so that's three times 120. So fairly straightforward. Your distance here is just plug it into the calculator. All right, so 120 plus five times 120 plus two times 120 plus 120 plus 120 plus three times 120. And we get a value of um, 1,560. So 1,560 meters. That's the total distance, that's the total ground covered, that's what your odometer would read. Okay, so now uh, let's take a look at uh, the next uh, letter. So it says letter B, the magnitude and direction of the displacement from start to finish. Okay, so let's, uh, oh, let's erase these just start and finish points for now. Okay, let me put them in red. So here's the start point again, right, and here's the end point. Okay, so if I started here and I ended at this location, if you just had to purely look at the difference or the distance between your start and end point, what would it be? Focus on the graph. All it is is this distance. That's it. How much is it? It's one block, right? It's 120 meters. That's it. Okay, and it's east, right? We traveled due east. So just keep that in mind. Our answer should be 120 meters east. Okay, but what I'm going to do in order to solve that by because they want us to do like the analytical method, blah, blah, blah. So what I need to do is I need to look at this uh, by using a component table. All right, so let me create my component table. Component table. All right, remember the component table just is X and Y values of all of my component vectors. So if I had to look in this problem, let's see how many vectors we're going to have. So this would be one vector going straight up then this whole thing would be two vectors. Meaning, not two vectors in total, but that would be vector number two, okay? Now we go down, that would be vector number three. Then we go west, that's four. North, that's five. And then finally, uh, we go west again, so that would be six, all right? So I have six vectors in total. So I'm gonna call this V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, and V6, okay? If I add up all of the components of all of these vectors, I will find my resultant vector. Okay, so let's do it. Here's the first vector right here. I'll label it number one. What, are the, what, are the, uh, what is the x component? It's zero, right? There is no x component to it. It's purely vertical. What is the y component? Well, since it's going in the positive y direction, it's exactly one block, so that would be 120. Okay, easy peasy. Now here's vector number two. Remember, we're starting here now, and we're going all the way over to that side. All right, so for vector two now, uh, remember, your axis would essentially start right there, okay, if you had to think about it. And this vector is now going in the positive x direction, right? How many blocks? Five blocks, right? We counted that before. So what would then be the uh, total x value? Actually, you know what? I'll just plug it in as 5 times 120, all right? Save on the calculations. Are there any y components to that um, vector number 2? No, right? It's purely horizontal, so that's zero. Great. So now we go to the start of our third vector right there, and I draw my axis. 
and I realize that this next vector is pointing straight down. So there's no x component to it, right? So I'm going to put 0 in the table for that. And there's only y component to it, negative y that is, and it's going down two blocks, right? So there's going to be a negative 2 times 120. Okay, easy peasy. Great, so let's erase that. All right, now let's go to uh, the next vector. So here's the start of the next vector, right? Here's my axis, and I notice that it's going to the left-hand side, uh, one block, right? So that's a negative 120 for the x value, and there are, or is, I should say, no y value to this vector right here. So what that means is that the y value there is zero. Okay, great. Now let's go to the start of the next one. Oh my goodness, isn't this fun, ladies and gentlemen? So now in the next one, here would be my vector number five, and it is purely a uh, vector in the y direction, and it's positive. So it would be a positive 120 for y and zero for x. So we plug that into the component table. Wonderful. And now, last but not least, thank goodness, here's the uh, beginning of the last vector. I notice that it is pointing west or to the left, three blocks. Therefore, it is negative in that x direction. So it's negative three times 120. And there is no y component, so that's zero. Now, all we have to do Add it all up. So plug it into your calculator, add up all the x values. So 0 plus 5 times 120 plus 0 minus 120 plus 0 minus 3 times 120. And what do you get? You got 120. Okay, great. And now how about the y? 120 plus 0 minus 2 times 120 plus 0 plus 120 plus 0 is 0. So these are the components of your resultant vector. Now, let's draw a quick coordinate system. Here it is. Let me start at the origin. Now, if I had to draw my resultant vector, right, I would first draw the x component of it. So I realize that that has a uh, value of positive 120. So the vector is going to be pointing out there to the right. So that is 120. And then what I would do here is I would go either up or down, depending upon if there is, an, is a uh, y component. But wait a minute, there is no y component. So that's it. Now look at this, right? This is the resultant vector. That's all it is. What direction is it pointing? It's pointing east. So here it is, right? Here it is. We just found that the resultant vector is equal to 120 meters due east. All right, and it makes sense from based on what we did literally in two seconds before, but I guess we've got to do all the workout. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me today. Appreciate your time very much. I really hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. That would be a little way to give us a hand, make sure we can reach more people and keep doing what we do. Thank you so very much.